I'm just chilling in the back country right now, which is great. Doing a little fishing, which is really awesome. Um, build episode number 20. So that's this one. This time I've managed to squeeze three, what would have been three build videos into one. And in the future, I'll probably be compressing a lot more of this uh, build video footage into shorter videos and stuff like that as best as I can anyway. And just try to speed through, but, you know, still tell the story. Anyway, guys, here you go. Hope you like it. What I'm going to do is build a box like this. And the reason there's a channel right here and right there, also on that side, is there's going to be a three quarter inch slide that's attached to the bed. So it's going to fold up and that's going to look like this here. That's how it's going to lay flat. And when it folds up, it's going to look like that one right there. One of the mistakes I made was this whole thing was a bit too short. Um, so it was back here and I needed to come this way about an inch and I think three quarters. And I thought about rebuilding it and I was like, no, I'm gonna uh, do this and hopefully it works. Okay, this is the uh, semi-elaborate front piece of the bed. This is the top, and then this is the mattress cushion keeper on the front because this one's gonna be sitting out. These things are kind of like skis. This stuff here that I put on it, it's like a self-lubricating plastic. So those are profiled here on the very edge here like that, and they're all exactly the same. And then this is gonna mesh up with the front uh, panel piece. That aluminum piece that I put in matches up with the, uh, the grooves underneath. So that's the groove that I cut right here, right? And then I'm gonna put a couple drawers right here as well and just give it a, a lift and back. That'll keep it from sliding forward so I can drive it around like this. And if I hit the brakes, everything's gonna stay put. You go over that lip, and then it just slides forward. Boop. There it is. This thing's awesome. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Man, this thing's cool. I have been dreaming of that for a while. So I can chill, chill out here and uh, work, whatever, hang out. Cool thing is, <laughs> let me show you the back. This is the, the back access. So I'm gonna have the batteries in there. This piece will come out, and if I want extra support for the headrest of the bed, I'll just put that right like that. That closes down like so. There's a little bit of a gap on each side, All right? I can chill out in the back too. <laughs> Yeah, love it. <laughs> oh yeah. Day two and the, the new bed, definitely a lot better. I got a coffee made and I'm just checking out this view and I'm gonna get to work here soon so I'll show you what I'm looking at. So I've got some Canada geese right there. There's people out there walking around and doing their morning stuff.
finished doing the, the whole template and all the edges are in. I did around the fan as well. So at this stage, I can take this off, transfer it onto plywood and make the cut. make it feel a little smaller in here. I think I lost about an inch of ceiling space. Right about there. <clears throat> That's kind of nice too. I uh, found that the screws that I have weren't actually long enough to bite into the material. So I found some screws that were just a bit longer. Um, they were actually maybe half an inch longer, which is too long. And uh, they had a pointy tip on them and I went ahead and tried them out and I was like, oh, this is actually going in there nicely. Um, I managed to put in about four of them before I realized they were actually going through the roof of the vehicle. So here we got one here, one there, one there, one there. So one, two, three, four. That sucks. I know I can do something to mitigate it just based on some of my skill set, but that's a pretty rookie move. And honestly, I don't know. I should have known. Oh well. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to deal with that just yet, but I will find a way to deal with that. But here's where the holes went through, so I just beveled those out a little bit. And here you can actually see like a little hole right there. And there's the other one. This is what I used. I just mixed it up and put it on. And I'm not the best at this sort of stuff. It's uh, definitely not the same as drywall mud, but... Anyway, I'll let that set up and then I will uh, sand that out.
didn't think today would go like that. I shaved the mustache off, but I did that a few days ago. Um, that's for my mask. I got these drawers made uh, right now, and I just have a piece of webbing that's in there, so. I'll probably put different things in here for now. This is just build stuff related to the build. For now, that's fine. And these slides are really interesting aluminum slides. And that's it. And I broke the uh, the front, like this thing here, it used to go all the way across. And uh, I kept putting my weight on it as I was sitting and it just broke. So anyway, I just trimmed off the middle part and just left the ends on and I'll try that the way it is for now and see how that goes. Okay, so yeah, that's that. Uh, I'm really tired now. I'm gonna go have a shower and get cleaned up. And then, uh, uh, and then I'm uh, calling it at night. <laughs>